So the first description or example I like to talk about is sexism. So we've heard of Word 2 Vec, which is a、um, algorithm training set. It was a training set that was made by Google. They trained it on about three million words from Google News, and、uh, they found that there was vector relationships between word relationships that we have. And they were also able to produce simple algebraic expressions to kind of understand these word relationships. So I would, if you would let, help me,、um, I'll have you finish my sentence here.、Um, father is to doctor as mother is to nurse. A man is to computer programmer as woman is to homemaker. So this is a problem. This is an implicitly sexist bias that is found in our word relationships. And this answers a question I get often, which is why can't we use the internet to help, you know, de-bias our AI and make it better? And that's because we, as we talk and interact with each other day to day, we have bias. We're the ones propagating that bias. It's how we talk to each other. So it's really important to think about when you're creating data sets or using data sets. It's not just I brought in this data set that's known to work, or I have this data that you know I brought in. We do need to look about it in terms of these questions, and we'll get into that a little bit more. The next、um, example I want to talk about is racism. Joy Blaumini is an amazing researcher. She just finished at MIT Media Lab. And she was dealing with social robots. So social robots have 3D cameras, and she was dealing with facial recognition. She found that she couldn't be recognized by her own project based on her skin tone, and she had to wear a white mask in order to be detected by her social robot. She also tried it with her fellow white colleagues, had them sit in front of the camera, it detected them. She sat in front of the same camera, and it didn't detect her.、Um, you can see this video on her website. It's the Algorithmic Justice League.、Um, really important and really cool way to demonstrate how we're, as we're expanding our user base and having more people use it, it's not necessarily serving everybody equally. Another quick example、um, is. Also infamous、um, when Google Photos accidentally tags two black people as gorillas. Again, social faux pas that AI wouldn't necessarily know not to do.、Um, and then again, a lack of data, a lack of data sets to be able to recognize these two figures are definitely not gorillas.、Um, the last example I want to talk about is about influence. So we've heard of Microsoft、um, and the Tay bot from Twitter. So this was an experiment where Microsoft put out a bot, and it was supposed to interact with the world on Twitter. Really novel at the time, and they found that it was easily influenced by what people were tweeting at it, the conversations people would have with Tay, and they would maybe tweet at it homophobic, xenophobic, other things. I just put up one example, but you can definitely read the story、um, if you haven't already, and and it experiences the. Influence that you can present to an AI, and that also starts making question like, what does an AI believe? What does machine learning algorithms? What kind of influence can they have, or can be presented to them?